your husband better do today. When you go into certain stores, they have a recordings for the people who work in the store. The recordings don't say, why isn't the store clean? Okay. It says probably like three sentences. And it's a better way to say that you should clean the store. Or why is this on the counter? Or why is this area not correct? Um, they also have a recording to say you're doing a good job. It doesn't actually say you're doing a good job. You know, but they are recognizing the store for the cleanliness of the store. Now, when you go in Dollar Tree, it's completely silent. Like, there is not no music. It is not no recording. You don't know if you're doing a good job, you're doing a bad job, or, or, or nothing. Okay? But, um, there are certain stores that you can walk into, and they have recordings. And with the recordings, it could be a sentence of, you are doing an excellent job in this store. They have a recordings where, why um, is this not in the proper place? Um, but you would have to be a person that can recognize what the recordings are saying. Okay, so Walmart have recordings. Okay, and you have to actually recognize what the recordings means. Now, Walmart has a recording on the outside of the store. Don't avoid what the recordings is saying. Basically, they would like for you to put your mask on. If you're going to wear your gloves, wear your gloves. If you're going to have your um, hand sanitizer, have your hand sanitizer. And if you are sick, stay at home and let someone else do the shopping for you. So, because I have nerve problems, I'm not always at Walmart. But I allow someone to go shopping for me. Okay, so then, um, but they have recordings on the inside of the store for just for the employees now. Now, us as customers shouldn't be able to recognize or understand the recordings, but if the people have a problem, because God made me to be special, I can understand what the recordings means. Okay, so when I recognize actually what does this record means, I can say to an employee like, the reason that this recording is on is because you have all of this stuff on the counter or the card area look like shit. Or, um, you just got too much stuff everywhere. And it's too much. Okay. So, this is a better way for me to explain to you, like, when you're going in a store, and this recording just all of a sudden came on. Because I look at everything, especially at Walmart. Because when you're special, specially made... By God, when you born three months early, or you're born in retardation, I don't really like to use that word. It's, it has to be a better word to use than that. I just haven't figured it out yet. Okay, um, when you are born as a um, tiny person, okay, we have special gifts from God. But then we're like everyday people, and we don't want to be mistreated either, you know. But... There are just special things about us. And if we can recognize it, we'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? But don't jump to the defense or nothing because God made you to be normal. But God didn't make everybody to be normal. So you can't treat everybody the same. Okay, so being rude and ignorance, I will call you out. like Because the people are teaching me the difference between a rude person and an ignorant person. About the words, I support you. I care about you, and I love you. Okay, so then, I love you isn't a person putting their hands on you, beating you half to death, stabbing you, dragging you, picking you up by your neck when you're pregnant, 
making you feel a kind of way. That's not a word that states, I love you. Doing the opposite of that. To uplift you, to make you feel like a better person, is I love you. Maybe because you bought me a coach pocketbook or something, I love you. And I'm not, but we, I don't have to have all that fancy stuff. But to the people who do, you know, like there are people that, you know, I'm going to spoil you. I love you. Um, I love you is not, I got to keep you down. I want you to be the uh, so down that, you're, that your self-esteem has hit the floor. There are people that are, now they're teaching me, like, the difference between the bad I love you and which Andrew showed after our marriage and the good I love you, which is the right I love you, that I support you. There's two different ways. To, remember I talked about the car battery is a negative and there's a positive. Okay, so all the ways in which a person can put you down and keep you down, they would try to keep you down. Like you're, like you're the, the bubble gum on the bottom of the shoe that you accidentally stepped on. Okay, so then there's the difference in I care. A person can't pretend like I care and you don't care. You don't know what care is. Because when you're caring for the wrong person and you're doing it correctly, but you can't do it for your family, something is wrong with that. Okay. So, when it comes to the recordings in which you go in certain stores and they have a recordings, right? The, there are certain recordings for certain things. And so, there are, in certain stores, I can learn, like, what does this recording mean when I'm in the store? But I walk around, like, some, it depends on how much pain I'm in, is how far I'm going to walk in the store. So, like, there's not a lot of Dollar Trees or, well, there's not a lot of family dollars that are big stores where, you know, like, I could walk down all the aisles in the store. But where Walmart, it's these are huge stores, and I'm just, okay, well, we can walk, I'm going to walk as far as I can walk, but then I got to walk back to the front of the store before I can't walk no more. Okay. But I'm learning about the different recordings that the people have in the stores. You know, just, I am. And I feel like because... If I learn about them, then I can share it with you. Like, this recording to me, this, or this recording to me, that. Okay, so then I have to learn, like, the way that one person treated me. That was wrong. So I shouldn't accept any person that is going to treat me in that manner. Um... When, when you have a world full of people that is in your surroundings, that I support you, I care about you, and I love you, and they're doing it backwards, it's on what day is there going to be a group of people that is going to understand that they're using the words wrongly, and what is the right form of using these words? And then it'll become a day when you become to be surrounded by these people who shows you I care and I love you. I'm thinking about you. I miss you. Um, I support you. And it's a positive feeling. It's a positive thing. So you have to learn like which one switch. And I had to learn about it. I was confused for a whole long time. A long ass time. I'm like, why am I taking care of my sister household? Why am I taking care of my mother's household? When I have my own household that I have to take care of. Okay, so then because I am taking care of my sister's household and I'm taking care of my mother's household, who's supposed to write me a check for taking care of these two households and running back and forth from Maryland to Virginia, Maryland to Virginia, and using what little fixed income that I have left to still take care of these two households? So then... We come to a time when 
the reset part of all the companies comes together to say to the state or the states, right? Um, you've got the right to shall a check for taking care of these two households. And no, I'm not talking about this little ass piece of check that she is still taking care of the kids in the households. So then it has to be a fixed situation, meaning that there are people in the world that knows the positive meaning of I care about you, I support you, I'm there for you. Um, you are a person and you shouldn't be mistreated. That is just not in my situation, it's in a thousand situations. It could be in a million situations. And with my company that I am creating, we are the car battery and we're taking what is the negative situations that the person could be in and we're going to show the, the person that you don't have to be in these negative situations because this is the positive situation in it. Okay? So, if we can understand together that if you're at home, in your home, and you're watching this, and the young man is saying, and I love you, and I care about you. Please don't call the police. I don't want to go with the police. I'm going to stop. It never changed. But you love this person so much. This is your best friend. Right? But he's still dragging you. He's still mistreating you. Then this person has to be removed from you. For you to understand that that's not the right. That's not encouraging words. That's disencouraging words. And people can't change disencouraging words to be encouraging words. Okay? And in all of my sermons, I would not... Let's turn to this book in the Bible. I just want you to understand it. If you're a person that's being hurt in your home by a man, or you could be a man being hurt by a woman... Please understand that people can't change the word to be what they want the word to be. Okay? Just understand that. And the person can't keep lying to you too. Alright? So, if you ask the person the question, are you eating M&M's? No, I'm not eating M&M's. What well, can you tell me? Is you, Why well, are you eating Skittles? No, I'm eating M&M's. Okay, so why would you just sit right there and lie? All right? So I want you just to understand. All right? Bye-bye, y'all.